Yo, what's up guys? I know it's been a long time. It's been like almost a year and a half since I actually uploaded a video. It's been a year since I uploaded a video, but like uh, about a year and a half since a proper video. It's basically a lot of stuff's happened uh, in the PlayStation PS3 uh, scene. BG tool set is down and there's no, there is other ways of exploiting your PS3. But um, when I wanted to do it, I couldn't find another way to set up. Uh, someone helped me do it so uh, I would add them but I don't know if they have a YouTube or anything so what you want to do is this is a clean OFW yeah it's got homebrew on it I just switched from a CFW to an OFW to like show you how it all works what you want to do is go to my discord and then get the firmware you want well not firmware you want yet and get hen you want hen 4.89 to hfw and what you want to do is go into make a folder called ps3 update and then um middle of downloading into it so it's called ps3 updats.pop uh sony made a uh typo when guessing making the form out of the ps3 I want to do is install it um, as you would if you would do USB as if you would updating it or something so now I'm on the PS3 again with the USB on the far right and as you can see 4.89.1 HFW what I'm going to do is do hen first enable hen first <laughs> By the way, with the MD5 check, you don't have to do that. It's just an extra step. If it's corrupted, um, the PS3 would tell you. It, it would say data is corrupted. So, uh, don't follow every guide where they do the M, uh, MD5. Just if it goes through, it goes through. If it doesn't, it will come out of um, data is corrupted. As you can see now, it's checking for update data. And I'll be back when it's done. All right, now we're back. It's just restarted should reboot to the xmb there we go so now that hfw is now installed you gotta to go to the website you gotta type it in differently you can see it's doing https and it won't find it you gotta start from the beginning http dot ps3 exploit not me you can see it works now when it's got the s in it it doesn't work and all you want to do is go uh, set this as your main screen if you just want to keep using hand so use current there you go and then what you want to do is delete cookies delete history delete cache and delete authentication information now what we want to do is get alternative. This is easier way of doing it. Sometimes you might need to restart. If it gets to 20, uh, restart it, so close. And what you want to do is go triangle, delete cookies again, delete history. Well, I meant to delete history, but delete history now. And delete the last one. Let's do the same now and then. And then you want to come out of it, then see if it works. Sometimes you have to come out of it. Sometimes you might have to restart it, but I'll do that as a third option in a minute. If this doesn't work, 
it should say preparing and then a bunch of instructions it should tell you there you go so what you want to do is go back and then go to remote player and then back out and then install him it's weird how they've done this it's actually amazing This could be done on the 3000 series, 4000 series as well. But if you just want to use HEN, you can. It's not like restrictive to like to the 4000 and 5000 series PS3s. It could, it could work for all of them from the original to the latest one, which is the super slim. And then what you want to do is restart. I'll do that now. And then it should restart when you turn it on it should come up with an egg and it said hen on it and then voila you got hen simple and as you can see there's an egg um just click on it and then it should enable hen for you simple as that sometimes it might crash it worked this time and my ps3 fan goes up because now i got cfw not cfw hen uh all the things working now As you can see all the games that i already had now that we're back, um, I put on a blank page, uh, so what you need to do now, go to here, address entry, and then put in HTTP only, and then put forever.me slash bg toolset. Sometimes it might work. I don't know. There we go. It works. Click straight to the website. And now just wait on the top right. It says 4.88, but it does work for 4.89. So uh, be careful doing this. Just in case. PS3 flashed three times so that means it worked so what you want to do now is go to flash memory manager hopefully it don't show my console id if it does i'll just hide it anyway yep it does what you want to do is get from load of patch via https wait for it to download close and then you want to click on it again and then apply loaded patch and what you want to do press yes and don't do nothing else if you do anything uh, like leave or turn the ps3 off it might corrupt it so be careful <laughs> It will put your PlayStation into safe mode, so be 
uh, so if you get scared don't worry about it but instead of restarting uh, you want to put the USB stick with the custom firmware you want so I'm going to put evil Nate 4.89 overclock so my games will play better as you can see now it's now done click close go back and then restart your playstation you should go into save mode as you can see it says press controller using usb cable and then press the ps As you can see it worked installed and that's how you install and get hen and cfw working i uh, will do a showcase of my discord probably in a few weeks or whenever if you guys want a discord uh showcase let me know i'll leave it in the description as well it's very helpful as well so if you need anything is there any support any help it's all there guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe uh turn on notifications peace